Welcome to the Full Octane Garage. I'm James. And I'm Kurt. And today's video is going to be, you're stuck on the side of the road with a flat tire in a 2019 or above GMC Denali, and what do you do? We're going to show you exactly how. You know why we're doing this video? Because we didn't know how. Because that was me. <laughs> <laughs> so let's check it out. All right. Uh, two things that you'll probably need in order to perform this. Uh, one, your locking wheel lock. Uh, if you don't have this, the key. You're going to be done. Yes, then you might as well walk. And the other thing that's really handy we found is gloves. Because this doesn't happen when you plan it. Probably won't have a place to wash your hands. And you're going to get right back in your brand new Denali and go drive it off. So. But you're going to need one more thing. Muscle. <laughs> <laughs> that was pathetic. <laughs> Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get all of your tools assembled and they're gonna be under the back seat in the truck. So come on over. You lift both seats up and at the very first position, you're gonna find the jack. And there's a couple of things you need to do with the jack. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna remove the jack and it's kind of a two-part operation because you have wheel chocks here and there's a big plastic wing nut. You wanna loosen that up and unscrew it totally off. And your wheel chocks will come off and there's this little J hook that, and it goes into the wheel chocks that wraps around the jack. You're going to want to save this because you want to reassemble this at a later date. Now to get the jack out, the jack is only held in here with jack pressure and it's a, a mechanical jack so there's no hydraulics to it. So you're going to turn this counterclockwise until the jack loosens up enough to get off of these catch feet at the bottom and then your jack is out and it's gonna be ready for operation. We'll pull this outside and we'll show you how to get to the rest of the tools. Okay, now we're on the driver's side of the vehicle and the driver's side of the vehicle is where it houses the lug wrench and the tools to operate the jack. And they're held in with this big plastic wing nut and a bracket that holds these in place to stop them from vibrating. So we're gonna start by undoing this big plastic nut counterclockwise. And this actually is a hook that holds all of this stuff together. Again, you want to put this aside and retain it. Uh, we actually forgot how to put ours back together and uh, had to figure this out a few times. So we'll have a separate video on that, by the way. This is your lug wrench, and you're going to want to use this to loosen your lug nuts before you jack the vehicle. Just loosen them so you can get a. Don't take them off, just loosen them. And then this will have a couple of pieces that are used to uh, extend and remove your spare tire from the back of the car and also utilize to jack the vehicle up. So let's go out and do that. We're gonna pretend that we have a rear flat tire. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna chalk the front wheels with these two chalks, one in behind the tire or one in front of the tire. If you happen to be in a mode where the vehicle's like going downhill, you could chalk two tires in the, in the downhill direction but we're on level ground just to keep it sane. I'm going to put one in the front, one in the back, and then we're going to go to start loosening the lug nuts. Okay, this vehicle happens to have wheel locks, so make sure that you have your wheel lock handy. It's actually normally in your glove box, yep. and it will match the nut pattern on your lug wrench. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the one that, that looks different and that's this one. And put it on there and spin it until it clicks in. And once it clicks in, then you're gonna put your tire iron on and you're gonna go in the counterclockwise direction to loosen it. Once that one's loose, you're gonna go on to take your key off and you're gonna go on to the next lug nuts one at a time and, and just get them loose before you jack the vehicle up. Okay, now we're gonna lower the tire from the rear of the vehicle and that requires a couple of steps. The first step is you're going to make sure that you have your key ring and there is a button on your key ring that you're going to press and then you're going to pull in your keys and a key will come out. Once you get this key out, then we're going to go to the back of the vehicle and there is a protective cover protecting your lock. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that cover and open it. And inside here, you'll notice that there is actually a keyhole and the key will go into the lock and you're going to turn to the right and pull back out and you'll have the key tumbler and that unlocks the hole so that you can put an instrument in there to crank the tire down. 
Okay, now we've got the tools out of the truck. We have the tire iron. The tire iron has a square hole in it, and that's to be used for leverage when utilizing these extension rods, and we'll show you how those go. The very first rod that comes out has a little hooked end on it, and that hooked end actually goes into the jack mechanism. So you're gonna hook it in, and it kind of helps lock the jack mechanism in, so when you spin it, Counterclockwise, it goes down. When you spin it clockwise, it goes up. And then we have a series of extensions. And you'll notice that the extensions have a, a little notched ball on them, as a spring ball. And the spring ball will slide into the open hole, push the spring down, and it locks into place. And that is how you will extend the jack to be able to crank it up and crank it down. And what we'll do is we'll actually put the tire iron in this. And you can go past the uh, ballpoint to lock it in if you need to. If you don't need to lock it, then uh, just monitor it as you're spinning. You have one more extension. And when we're removing the spare tire, we do not need the jack extension with the hook. So that one's gonna be put set aside and we're gonna use the other two extension poles. And again, same sequence, has the little uh, spring ball, slide it on, it clicks into place. Now, the open end of this is what's gonna slide in the hole where we just removed the, the lock. And that's gonna engage with the spare tire uh, crank mechanism. So you're gonna slide this all the way in. It goes in at slight angle and you'll feel it click in. Again, you're gonna go in, and it's not gonna go in, and turn it a little bit, and it'll drop in. Then we're gonna put the tire iron on the end of this rod. I will go ahead and lock it in just to make it easier. And you're gonna crank this counterclockwise. And you will see that the tire below is coming down. Oh. And James is making me do all the cranking. That's because you're the crank master. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you want to give it a little bit of slack in here because you're going to have to drop this down a little bit more than it normally would Keep going. Normally expect. It's got to go until you get slack in there. Um, let's see. So if you get down here. Oh, or you could lift the tire up, I guess. You lift the tire up a little bit. And you'll have this rod down in the bottom. And this will just push up through the wheel if you angle it. And now that is out. You pull the spare tire out. And you're ready to put this on the truck. So now we'll get to jacking the truck out. Okay, now when we get the spare tire out, you notice it doesn't have a nice pretty wheel like the others, so you don't want to leave it in there very long because you're not stylish. But what you do want to do is probably about every six months or so, you do want to check the air pressure in this tire because they will lose air over time. You might also want to consider having it filled with nitrogen because nitrogen doesn't seem to have the weather characteristics where it would lose pressure in the winter and gain in the summer. So meanwhile, this will be a perfect spare for us to put on the truck. So my recommendation is to kind of eyeball how tall the jack is going to need to be uh, to get under your axle and manually crank it by hand because cranking it with the rod is cumbersome and uh, not a lot of fun. Honestly, if you're going to feel like you have a flat tire often, I would almost consider getting a hydraulic jack and making a little life a little easier, but we're going to work with what we have. Now you'll notice that there's a concave uh, in this top. You want that concave to go the direction of the axle. It's actually a two direction concave. So you just wanna make sure it's lined up with the axle and it will be a couple inches in, inboard from the shock mount according to the owner's manual. So you wanna manually crank it up and get it snugged up. That oh, seemed like it fit right in there, didn't it? Yep. Hook end is gonna go back into the jack. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the tire iron and put it back on, on the end of the crankshaft to get some leverage. 
and it will jack the rear tire up off the ground. And there we go. Okay, now that the tire is off the ground and has enough clearance to come off, what you're gonna do is continue to loosen all six of your lug nuts, take the tire off, utilize those same six lug nuts to put the new tire on, tighten them all down, snug them up while it's in the air. Don't attempt to torque it down while it's in the air. So you're gonna put the damaged tire in the back of the truck so you can take it to a tire shop and get it repaired. Don't waste any time hanging it up under the truck, but you are gonna to wanna to make sure that you crank up the wire that's hanging under the truck so it doesn't drag. It's a good call. Because it will make a lot of sparks and a lot of mess. So now oh. what we'll do is once you get it tight, the, the tire back on the ground, then you will do a final torquing of it. And when you're torquing the, the tires, once it's back on the ground, you're gonna tighten each of the lug nuts in a cross pattern. So you'll start it at, at one, get it tightened down, snug down really good, go across to the next one. Once that one's stood, snug down, jump down one lug and go to the next one. Same thing, jump down one lug, go to the next one. Once they're all really snug down, you can do a circular motion once they're all you know, reasonably tight, just to make sure you didn't miss one someplace. And then put all your stuff away, head up to the tire store and enjoy the rest of your day. You have a flat on the front, the uh, location for the jack. I'll show you right now. is right there where that piece comes down with the two holes in it. It should fit right into the top of the jack. Don't forget to collect your wheel chocks after you're ready to go. How many people do you think drive over the top of them? Yeah, they're history. <laughs> and for those of you who might be using your truck as a work truck and you may have an electric drill in it, I would highly recommend you getting a large flathead bit like this with an electric drill and this will speed the process up considerably. <laughs> that includes the block of instruction on how to uh, disassemble and remove the jack components, lower the spare tire, and how to replace the tire on your truck. We're going to have a follow-up video, part two, which is going to show you how to reassemble all the stuff that you just took out. Yeah, don't forget to check that out. Uh, thanks for joining us at the Full Octane Garage. If you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Did you really need this video, or did you think you knew how to change the tire anyways? I'll bet you might not. <laughs> um, and uh, check us out for more GMC content. Uh, there's some that's already on the platform, and we're already going to have a lot more to come. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. I don't think I'm good. We'll see if <laughs> we'll see you soon at the Fall Acting Garage. Exit stage right. <laughs>
Okay, now we're going to remove the the. the give me a lot of cranking. Your technique seems to be working. <laughs> <laughs>